You're now watching Showbiz Now, your daily showbiz update. Narito na po ang ating maagang-maagang balita. Kamakailan lamang ay ibinahagi nga ni Atty. Topacio ang kalagayan ng kanyang kliyente na si Dennis Cornejo. Ayon kay Atty. Topacio, ay willing na willing na nga pong ipursue o ituloy ni Dennis Cornejo ang kanyang ikinaso kay Wong Navarro na rape. Samantala mula sa Manila Bulletin, narito na nga ang latest update. Warren Superest vs. Wong Navarro out na nga soon. The warrants of arrest of rape and acts of lasciviousness against popular TV host and comedian Ferdinand Wong Navarro are expected to be used soon by two Tagig courts. Tagig Regional Trial Court Branch 69 under Judge Lori D. Datahan has been assigned through a raffle to hear the rape case filed against Navarro by the Tagig City Prosecutor's Office based on the complaint of model Denise Cornejo. In the information, Cornejo accused Navarro of raping her on January 17, 2014. On the other hand, Metropolitan Trial Court Judge Angela Francesca Dean of Branch 116 will decide the case of acts of lasciviousness against Navarro. Under Section 6 of the Revised Rules of Criminal Procedure for a Regional Trial Court within 10 days, for the filing of the complaint or information, the judge shall personally evaluate the resolution of the prosecutor and its supporting evidence. He may immediately dismiss the case if the evidence on record clearly fails to establish probable cause. If he finds probable cause, he shall issue a warrant of arrest or a commitment order if the accused has already been arrested pursuant to a warrant issued by the judge who conducted the preliminary investigation or when the complaint or information was filed pursuant to Senate. Nito ngang August 31 ay nag-filed nga ang Tagig City Prosecutor's Office against rape kay Navarro. Doon ay sinabi nga noong January 17, 2014 na itong si Navarro through force, threat, and intimidation and by purposely intoxicating the victim did willfully unlawfully and feloniously have carnal knowledge with one Denise Milinete Cornejo. Kaya po ang raffle at sa itinagal-tagal nga ng pakikipagbaka nitong si Denise Cornejo, nitong ang last July 21, 2022, the Court of Appeal sided with Cornejo and upheld the petition for certiorari for issuance a writ of madanmus that directed the Daging Prosecutors to file the case against Navarro or cases against Navarro. Ano nga ba yung mandamus? Ito po ay ang a judicial writ issued as a command to an inferior court or ordering a person to perform a public or statutory duty. In the decision, the CA ordered the Tagig City Prosecutor's Office to file information against Ferdinand Vong H. Navarro for Rape by Sexual Intercourse under Article 266-A of the Revised Penal Code as amended by Republic Act No. 8353 and 2. Acts of Lasciviousness under Article 336 of the Revised Penal Code. It was erroneous for the DOJ, Department of Justice, to deny Cornejo's petition for review on the ground that her statements in the complaint affidavits are inconsistent and incredible. It added, in this regard, it bears to stress that the termination of probable cause does not depend on the validity or merits of a party's accusations or defense or on the admissibility or veracity of testimonies presented. Pila nito ay tinanggi nga ng actor, host, and dancer na si Wong Navarro ang mga akusasyon sa kanya ni Dennis Cornejo. Well, tutok lang po sa ating Showbiz Snap update for more update. Thank you for watching Showbiz Snap. Images are all credit to the rightful owners.